this can handle with devotion taken from 1 Samuel chapter 23, verses 1 through 6. David always seemed to be engaged in a battle somewhere. It's like he could never get a rest. He either was having to defend himself or Saul was coming after him or somebody was asking for his help. And it just seems like David was constantly on the move. But wherever he went, his reputation went before him. Sometimes that brought that people wanted to fight against him. Sometimes it was that they wanted his help because they knew that he was a man who was following God's direction, such as the case in these six verses where David was called upon to go down to a town in Judah and help them because the Philistines were coming in and they were plundering the crops that had just been harvested. The reason we know that is because it says that they were down on the threshing floor raiding it. It was, a, it was always a situation in, in that part of the world that whenever it was that the harvest was done, that the enemy would come in and they would try to steal the food away from the individuals that had done all the work, and that was just a, a tactic of war. So this was going on in this particular town in Judah, and somebody came to David and said, we need your help. Now, before David just rushed in there, he did something very important. He sought the Lord's direction and said, is this a fight I really need to get involved in? Is this something I really need to do to subject myself and those that are associated with me to the battle? Do I really need to go down and do this? And God said, I'll deliver you. You go on down. Well, David told those around him in his army, and they had some fear, and probably rightfully so, because they were outnumbered, as always was the case at this point in David's life with his small army. And yet, David went back and he inquired of the Lord again. He said, should I get involved? Should I take my men down there? And God said, you go down there, and I will deliver them into your hands. David went back and told his men, and the men said, let's go. Now, David could have went the first time, and he could have said, look, God told me we're going to go down there and fight. Let's go, and if anybody disagrees with me, I'll just take care of it right now here. But David didn't want that. David wanted everybody around him to be involved in the decision-making process too. So he went back on behalf of the men, and he asked God, God, is this, you, is this really what you want us to do? And God said yes. And at that point, David's men and he were all in, and they went down, and they delivered the town from their natural enemy, the Philistines. The point of the story is this. There's always something that we can be getting involved in, but before we get involved, especially if it deals with somebody else's business or somebody else's problems, Maybe what we need to do is back up and say, God, do you want me to go down there? And number two, God, if I go down there, is it going to turn out the way you want it to turn out? Or is it going to turn out the way I think it's going to turn out? I'd much rather it turn out the way that you want it to turn out. And I need to know that you want me to get involved. Maybe that way we wouldn't get involved in so many other people's business, especially if God hasn't led us to get involved in their business.